Hi, this is Steve. Welcome to Awakening the Magnetic Fields of Your Heart. Um, this is an amazing process that's come through completely by surprise to me. Um, I was working on my program, Manifesting Secrets of the Masters, and um, I was asking for what the next lesson was, because that course was taking, as I listened to my guidance, that course was taking a direction that I did not expect it to take. I had had I'd had a, an idea of what I was going to be doing in that course that I was planning on going for, and, every, and not every single time, but most of the time as I went to do the next lesson, I got informed, you know, by my guidance, by creator, by whatever you want to call that, that, that it was going to be different than I thought. And in one of the, the, the final lessons, what happened was really interesting. I went up to ask what was next, and I heard they're missing something in their hearts. And long story short, I was shown a process in a very specific way that acts of it activates a particular magnetic field in your heart. Um, many of us, not all of us, I'll, I'll, many of us, and I'll put this this uh, YouTube video that I'm referring to you know, below here so you can see it. Many of us know about Greg Braden and talking about the magnetic fields and how when um, when they were when they were mapping, they've been able to map the the and record the magnetic field of the Earth for years and years, and then one day they came across a completely total weird anomaly. At one point, the magnetic field of the Earth spiked way beyond anything they'd ever seen, and they didn't know what had happened. And eventually, what they had done is they had taken the readings and placed it on a calendar, and what they realized was the the point in time that that spike happened was exactly 15 minutes after the first airplane hit the Twin Towers in 9-11. And to make a long story short, the entire planet practically was having a really profound emotional reaction to this global event. Um, and having it in a at the same moment in a kind of a unity way, a way of being all together at the same time. They've discovered that we all know that the heart and the, the brain and everything produces electro electrical fields and magnetic fields, but what most people don't know, and some of you will know because you've seen this, this, this video before, is the heart produces a magnetic field 5,000 times stronger than the brain. And this magnetic field, depending on the emotions we're experiencing, the feelings we're going through, literally, literally affects the outer world. And what I was kind of led to, to realize or believe or however I came to this understanding is that if that's the case and the, magne the magnetic field of our own hearts are spreading out feet, maybe miles, as some have measured, I believe, why, was it, why would it not be possible that we have certain magnetic fields probably related to the heart that would affect our own body specifically. And that's what I was told this was about. And so this activation of this magnetic field is one that's specifically intended to shift the biology, including, um, including and especially the nervous system and probably many other, thing, many other parts of the body and probably the endocrine system especially as well. And it shifts us out of perceiving on some really deep level, not on a conscious level so much, but on the deeper level of the world from through the filter of unity or oneness or that there is no separation or everything is connected at some really deep super level and everyone and everything is, is interacting on these deeper ways and that there is, just like the mystics have said, only one thought and one, one mind and blah, blah, blah. So this is what I was given. And I was given information around through various ways and sources uh, related, specifically related to this process, that what's happening partly is it's shifting our partly biological and partly conceptual and partly consciousness level. It's collapsing duality and it's collapsing time. And once we've done this, without exception so far, bef before we we found some really cool, amazing 
downloads that makes it even a smoother process so far as this unfolds is that people were getting very very angry now uh, it, almost immediately after having the process done now normally you would probably not want to say hey do this process you'll get really pissed off <laughs> usually that's not what you want to hear but really it is because for most people, most people aren't ready, myself included. I got sick for a little while when I first did this to myself. Most people aren't ready to wake up and be able to, based on their current beliefs and whatever unresolved issues and angers they're still holding on in their body and et cetera, et cetera, um, aren't ready just to go into straight enlightenment. Push, you know. Some people will. I'm assuming that there'll be a few people that do this process, just like some people, uh, a very few pe few people so far that I'm aware of, um, that get the oneness blessing through um, um, the guy in India. I'm, I forget his name right this second, but the oneness blessing is really well known. Some people are having a spontaneous awakenings, and and everything is cool. Most people are not. Most people get diksha once, twice, three times, a hundred times. And they don't have that same kind of enlightenment awakening experience where suddenly they realize everything is connected and everything's wonderful. My belief is is because we all have stuff that keeps us from, from doing that. Um, with my seven years worth of um, experience in theta healing, working deeply with people's unconscious belief systems and understanding how they create, including spiritual stuff, create their own particular experience of it. Um, that's the reason why people will have had the experience of getting angry because primary experiences in their life or unresolved issues that are really important to them probably ones that are related to what they're here to resolve get brought to the surface because if time collapses they can be brought back into a moment of anger um, back 20 years ago that never got addressed so it can come up to the surface once time collapses to be let go of. Plus, this is very, very clearly, and that's one, the anger thing is just one process that seems to happen to get stuff out of the way so that we can begin to really own our own magnificence. Um, and so this process is, is continuing to unfold for me. Um, check back with this page fairly regularly as I continue to uh, have deeper revelations. I'm going to start, I'm starting to do it with people. It's very, very powerful. Um, I've had two or three people separately that don't know each other have been telling me that they're getting clear messages that this is a really important process for humanity, so I'm going to assume they're correct. Um, it feels that way to me, but who knows. But check it out. It's a really amazing process. Um, it'll shift things for you um, in ways that you won't experience is very very powerful um, and just like when people start doing theta healing or they start meditating or some people who do get diksha of one kind or another for the first time stuff comes up they go into crisis sometimes um, so that actually is a good thing that the same thing has happened here because it means something big is shifting uh, we'll continue to refine it and give additional downloads and training and healings prior to be to giving you this process. That'll make it easier, but it's a big deal. It's a really big deal, uh, this little process. And and I'll be getting. I got an information that I'm going to be getting at least one more process related to this, perhaps up to five. So enjoy. And more questions, just let me know. Have a great day. Bye.